how big a result is that for you to take you off the bottom? No, it's a, it's a big step. It's a, it's a nice step for us, but we're, we're under no illusions. There's still a lot of work to be done, but it's nice when you when you score four goals away from home. Um, obviously, we're tuning up at half time. We're a little bit disappointed with, with the goal we conceded, but I think uh, the reaction from the lads was great. Again, we had to survive not really const, constant pressure from Fulham, but um, we were aware that we were going to have lots of possession at time, but we dealt with it quite comfortably. And, I think with Adam, the way he performed today, he was he was pretty much untouchable, you know. So as long as he can maintain maintain that standard and that belief, because we know he's got the ability. So if he can maintain that, that'll be great for us. I'm going to ask you about that because you know people have questioned his consistency in the past. We've seen the last couple of games certainly when he came on the other night as well that he can cause a lot of damage. Could he be key to you staying up? Well, without a doubt, and I think the manager the manager is fully aware of that, and I think all the players are too. And I think um, it, it, not only for a young, for a, still a young English player, but the way he attacks players, the way he glides past players, and can, can create free kicks, set pieces. So for England as well, it, he's, he's a special player to have. And but he's got to maintain that consistency. And I think, especially for a, with a World Cup coming up in the summer, if he can maintain that, he's he's going to do himself a, the world of good. The team itself, I, mean, I saw you earlier in the season, a goal went in, I think it was the Cardiff game, goal went in, the head seemed to go down. Today you conceded a goal, you went back up and got another couple. Is, is that the difference we're seeing about this team in, in recent weeks? Yeah, you, you could say so. There's a, there's a lot more belief there, but I think that comes from the, the management staff portraying what we want to get into games in terms of what we work on during the week, the constant play, set pieces. We scored some good goals today that we worked on in different situations. So. The, it, it's all slowly, slowly, and we, we know it was a big win today because, because of obviously other results and different things. But just against Fulham as well, and um, you, you're just keeping everyone, that everyone's aware that look, we're, we're hitting a bit of form, but also we can score goals as well, and we're, we're getting that bit meaner at the back as well. What does this do for you going into? The second leg against your old club, Manchester United, in the week. Well, look, it, 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 we know how difficult that's going to be, but we have, a, we have to dust ourselves down, go again for Southampton next week, and then we can look forward to a massive game at Old Trafford where we're going there with a lead. But we know how difficult it will, it will be with the crowd fully behind them. And but we've got to show who, we can score goals away from home, and they'll be fully, fully aware of that too. And just looking at the, that game, it is away from home. United's form at home hasn't been particularly great so far this season. So, so a lot of people are saying United are still favourites to go there. Do you, do you guys see it differently? Ah, well, look, we, we know we have a lead going there, but we know we have, we're going to have to score a goal as well. So it's um, it, it's one of those things, United will be, it, depending on the results they have beforehand as well, there could be a lot more pressure on them. So we just, we'll just have to deal with it ourselves, and we know if we can play to our strengths, we'll cause them problems.